Hello everyone, my name's Brian, and what we have before us today is a Scourge of 2016. That's right, that's Scred Red. So this has been updated uh, to try and make it a little more modern so that I just don't get my teeth kicked in for five games. But this deck, more so than some of the other ones I play, it's reasonable to assume you've never seen it before. So let's go through exactly what Scred is, the last time it was relevant at all, and what I've done to try and make it slightly better so that I have a chance of winning a match this video. So Scred is essentially named after this card here, which is just an instant spell that says, Scred deals damage to target creature equal to the number of snow permanents you control. So what happened to Scred? Well, essentially, Unholy Heat got printed, and that's just a better card, bar none. But I'm not playing Scred to... <laughs> you know, change it essentially into a mono-red Murktide deck. We're going to try and play as many as the old toys as we can. But that's the reason why all of our lands are snow lands between snow-covered mountains, scrying sheets that let us hopefully draw an extra snow-covered mountain off the top of our deck so we don't have to deal with it, and a single, oh no, two, my bad, Frostwalk Bastions, which are just creature lands that are nice to have. The old part of the deck also had relics and lightning bolts, mind stones to try and hyper out Blood Moon, and your planeswalkers like Chandra Torture Defiance and old school Cough of the Hammer. So pretty much what's happening here is this is like a prison -y control style deck where hopefully your Blood Moon and your Angers of the Gods act as Wraths for the board so that you can get your planeswalkers down and win with your planeswalker. That was a whole idea of this deck. Now, obviously some things have changed. Even from the old list, there was no Hazaret or Glorybringers. I just like those cards, so we're going to play them. Hazaret being indestructible is fun. Also, it survives Anger of the Gods, no matter how much damage you took because it's indestructible. And also, if you just start top decking lands, you just want to over and over and over again pitch them for two damage. It's good enough. Maybe it'll even get a swing in. We also have the aforementioned Glory Bringers, which can be good just hasty threats as a 4-4 in the air is nothing to scoff at, but also hopefully it takes out whatever's going to try and block it or whatever creatures on our opponent's side that's just causing problems in general. Finally, we have the parts of the deck that I've recently sprinkled in, such as two Furies. Should there be more Furies? Probably. Am I going to put more in? No. Already these Furies are me questioning a lot of why I'm playing this deck, but essentially everybody here knows Fury. It takes out so many creatures and planeswalkers it's great and finally obviously the other thing i've added to this deck recently is the ragavan so ragavan here um he's just a, a modern staple and if you're playing red play ragavan he'll win you games also when you stop and think about it this deck is trying to get out blood moons as quickly as possible and in theory with a turn one ragavan you can get a turn two blood moon so i hate to say it ragavan just does everything and in this case he's really good then again, it's hard to name a deck where Ragavan wouldn't be good, so here he is. We, of course, have some Mind Stones to try and ramp out and sack for cards. And finally, a Pyrite Spell Bomb again as well. So let's go over the sideboard and then I'll talk super quickly on what this deck could turn into, but we're actively not going to. But essentially, you have two Shattering Speeds to take out some Relic Nonsense... Um, artifact stuff, chalices, even though we are playing chalices ourselves, but that's for a different reason. We have one more Anger of the Gods if we go up against heavy, heavy, heavy creature stuff. I don't think there's as many creature synergies as there used to be back in the day, but it's here in case we need it. Two boils. These are hilarious. If you go up against a blue deck and you get to boil them, oh my god, it just feels amazing. A Chandra Awakened Inferno. Good if we go up against a control thing. It can't be countered. It has inevitability. It allows us to grind in that way. It also allows us to essentially wipe the board uh, while leaving our Furies around because they're elementals, leaving our glory bringers around because they're bigger, and leaving Hazaret there because she's indestructible. A couple of Dragon's Claws for Red Mirrors to try and just survive a little bit longer to close out the game. Some Ratchet Bombs to take out the field because we really don't want to be playing Engineered Explosives given the fact that we would be able to put it on zero or one. A Void Mirror to try and stop things that are being cast without any color to spend it. Now again, we do have our own Fury, so remember not to play into your own Void Mirror. And finally, some chalices of the void if we go up against like rhino decks or stuff like that so that's the deck as it stands uh i'm not doing a league this week i'm definitely going to be doing one-on-one -on -one games because this this might change a bit as we go along here if i can think of ways to make this deck better uh and i realize again it's like oh just put 
more Furies in and then put Dragon Rage Channeler in. And then, oh my God, we're playing Obosh. So we're just going to try it like this, see if Scred can survive in 2023. And yeah, let's give it a shot. Join me, won't you? All right, we have Scred in 2023 and we... L oh, no, we uh, lost the die roll. It took a little bit to lose the die roll, but we did end up losing a die roll. Uh, this looks like a Modern Horizon hand, so we'll go ahead and keep. Aether Vial, we must be playing against some kind of taxes deck. Luckily for us, we have Furies in hand. <laughs> Fury really wiped taxes off the map. Uh, and that's the thing about... This Scred deck, this is another one of those decks that I play because, you know, Scred is fun and I'm a nostalgic person. But truth be told, like, there's a lot better things I could be doing even in, like, this mono red color. Uh, we're, we're playing this out of, like, a sense of, hey, this this should be fun. Oh, red axes. Is this a Thalia? Oh, they have their own Ragavan. Fascinating. Uh, yeah, I don't want you to gain an advantage here, so I'll happily trade. That's just the, uh, the reality of Drago, is their Ragavan got to come down first. Another Bolt, um, you know what, we'll risk it. If they have another Ragavan, they have another Ragavan. Here's a Mind Stone. We'll go Shields down for this turn, but next turn we should be able to hopefully do stuff. If we draw another land, that'd be optimal, uh, especially if they don't Thalia. If they do Thalia, that is unfortunate, but I'm hoping they multi-creature this turn. Here's the Shadow Spear. So they must also have Urza Saga somewhere. Oh, nope, that's all they got. So please draw a land deck. Relic of Progenitus is not a land. So here's Relic. I don't, I think it's safe to say they're doing nothing with their graveyard. So at the end of their turn, we'll, um, we'll crack Relic. We have a lot of answers to whatever they're going to try and do, but we're not really gaining advantage or any tempo here. And we are very much anger, uh, aggro and they are very much tempo. So not a ton we can do if this game goes long other than probably die. Uh, okay. I'd rather just have the card. A Blood Moon. Fascinating. Awful right now, but fascinating. Please be land. Please be land. Scred. How am I getting land screwed in this deck? Um... You know, we learn all sorts of things here on the on the channel here. Uh, mostly we find new and creative ways to lose the game. Getting mana screwed in your 24, 20 something land deck. It's just, oh, it's amazing. Another Ragavan. Well, that's not gonna, I'm, I'm hoping he spends some mana to put the Shadow Spear on it. No, he's just gonna do that. All right, goodbye. Goodbye, second Ragavan. So my hand is full of removal. Maybe I'll find a Ragavan, please. Oh, I found a land, that works. All right, so let me tell you about how Midgo always makes sure you pick the land that's newly controlled. All right, so we're all seeing this right now. The front land is the newly controlled one. So we're gonna pick the back land. Aha, okay, we actually do get to swing with it. Here comes Snow-Covered Mountain. All right, and now we're at like the best place Scred could possibly be. I mean, there's no reason to turn their lands red because they are also a red deck. Now, if they top deck a third Ragavan, then there's nothing we can do about it. If they play an Urza Saga, we have Blood Moon to... Oh, no, I guess we just uh, locked him out with all our removal. So Anger of the Gods, yes. What else? I think the Shattering Sprees or maybe the Shenanigans. One of, one of these, I think. I think the Relics don't do anything. So I think the Relics can come out pretty easy. Um... What else do we want? I mean, we're going to feel pretty silly if their only artifact is the Aether Vial, but I, I would reckon they have more than that. Do I want another one of these is the question. I put, I guess the Blood Moons aren't great. Hey, so if we give up on Blood Moon, put in Chandra, put in, I guess we can keep a couple of Blood Moons because they do. Ha you know what? Let's keep three Blood Moons because they, they definitely have Ursa Saga. They have a Shadow Spear. So let's try this. Okie dokie. Uh, this has no red land. If we had but a single red land, we could risk it, but I don't think so. Okay, I'm going to keep this, and I am going to put back... It's got to be Glorybringer or Chandra. I'm going to put back the Glorybringer. I feel like we need the Scred and the Angers to try and take out their early plays. Uh, for example, this Ragavan. <laughs> So, of course, they have turn one Ragavan. Seems like they mulled pretty heavily to get the turn one Ragavan. We're going to be able to play Chandra on curve. We'll go ahead and pass in case they have a second Ragavan in hand and wait until that thing's attacking. But we do have a Scred, so that's good. All right, goodbye, Ragavan. Okay, so now we'll see what their next play here is. If it is Stoneforge Mystic, that's unfortunate. Lion Sash. Okay, that's not the worst. More lands. All right, we would like to stop drawing lands now. Hey, remember last game? Uh... <laughs> Where it felt like we were getting mana screwed, and now game two, it feels like we're getting a flood. Boy, do I love variants. Hey, do they have to play something on curve? They do. What's going on? Or are they just swinging and going to make their Lion Sash a 2-2? No, oh, they're not even going to do that. Okay. Deal me one. Sure. You can deal me one. Please play another creature. No. Fascinating. Cough of the Hammer. Unfortunately, uh, we drew too many lands, so... 
now we are passing it back. And our opponent at this point really should punish us somehow. I didn't play Anger because Lion Sash is only meh. And next turn, like if they play like a thousand creatures, I want to just anger it off the field. Charming Prince, so they get to, I, I imagine they scry? Yeah, okay. So at least I get to two for one, if not three for one. Because what we can do is play Cough of the Hammer, kick down Cough and then Anger. Come on, play one more creature. I feel like they don't have more creatures in hand if they're not playing them now. So do something with your man. Oh no. Oh no, it's only a three, three. Okay, I thought it was going to be a four, four. And I thought we were going to feel real bad. The problem is that also means Lion Sash doesn't die is the thing. Because if we play Koth of the Hammer, that's just going to become a 2-2 two, two again. So I think what we do is we Mind Stone and then we Anger and we don't just let one of our Planeswalkers die. I mean, if they have more creatures, they have more creatures. But next turn, we can get both Planeswalkers down if our way is relatively clear. Oh, they definitely have Solitude. Lorraine of the Third Path. Well, there goes Mind Stone. That's not actually super worrying for being completely honest. They got to reconfigure that Lion Sash again, though. It feels like it. It'd be great to draw a removal spell right now. Oh, they're just going to reconfigure on Loran right now. Please don't be a land. Ragavan. That's interesting. So I can cough. I can tick down cough. I can play Chandra and then try and protect with Ragavan. It doesn't sound great, but it's the best we got. The cough of the hammer, tick down, whole bunch of mana, play Chandra, just take out Loran, and then just cast Ragavan normal. We'll have to chump with Ragavan Ragavan if they want to kill like a good planeswalker because they can just eat Loran and make their Lion Sash a 3-3 but we get a, a redraw here is the thing. Yeah. So this is a chump because they can just eat Loran which is fine by me. Yeah huh? So we get to draw a card and then we get a second draw off of Chandra and hopefully we find removal in some form here. Sarah Paragon. Brutal. We do have relics. We could maybe find a relic. Blood Moon. That really doesn't do a ton. So let's start with ticking up Chandra. Lightning Bolt. Perfect. So we're going to cast Lightning Bolt targeting the Lion Sash. Rid of that thing. Then we'll tick up Koth on our mountain here and we'll go swinging in. They'll, they'll definitely take four. There's no world where they don't. We are going to put them to one white mana though. So we we lose Chandra because they definitely attack Chandra, but I guess Koth is inevitable? Oh, they can just get Loran and then blow up my Blood Moon, huh? Well, at least it slowed them down for a turn. Yep, kapow. So I have to imagine Chandra's the more scary one because it lets us draw cards, yeah. We are just getting bled here. Come on, not land. What did I specifically request? Um, Okay, here's Frostwalk Bastion. That can block Loran, but that's not really where we're at right now. We get to deal him four, put him to eight, but we lose Koth and now we need to not draw lands and hopefully just outgrind our opponent. Another Chandra would be great. Hazaret would actually be pretty cool right now. Fury would be amazing right now, but yeah. Yeah, things are not looking super good. Vicious farmhand. So they go get... Dang, what does this need? This needs... Oh, so they can just transform this into a lifelinker. Nothing stopping them. I reckon you just play Lion Sash if I'm my opponent. Yep, there goes Sarah Paragon. Nothing I can do about that. So there goes Koth. And now we are completely outclassed here. Now... An Anger of the Gods would be good. A Fury would be amazing. What do we get? We get Stone Cold Nothing, and the game tells us to like it. Uh, I'm going to save myself some edit time here, guys. I'm so far behind. <laughs> and our top cards are all of these and a shenanigans. Okay. We good. We real good. Hmm. I don't know. That Blood Moon felt like it didn't do anything. And apparently Sarah Paragons are a thing. I'm going to take the shenanigans and the shattering sprees out. I'm going to put my relics back in. And I think I'm just going to try it like that. I don't know. Hopefully going on the on the play is super helpful. All right. We are currently one and one in this match. Uh, don't, don't know. I think that's too slow. This has no lands, which is sad. We've now mulled to five. So if we win, I'm going to eat my hat. So I'll get rid of Blood Moon, and I'll get rid of Mind Stone, and at this point we're just playing Removal Deck. Yep, here's our snow-covered mountain, and we pass. Also, considering that I don't have Fable of the Mirror Breaker or Season Pyro to try and smooth my deck out, I don't know how good of a start I can really expect here. <laughs> I and mean, then again, right now we wouldn't have been getting to three to cast either of those spells anyway. I don't know, these Frostwalk Bastions are starting to feel real bad. Vicious Farmhand, sure. Get to go get a land. We'll just scred that. No reason not to. Get off the field, kid. Now, here's the funny part. We need both lands and non-lands. Chandra Torch of Defiance. Well, that's not a land. Land, and that hurts so much. I really think we're gonna have to make a compromise to this deck 
for round two onwards, guys. I don't think it's going to be um, Fables, only because they're so expensive and we are playing Scred. Um, but maybe Seasoned Pyros would help a bit. All right, Stoneforge Mystic for Lion Sash. And if any of you know how this works, that means they have a better equipment in their hand, but just scred that off the field right now. Ephemerate, interesting. So now they go get to good... Oh, there's Cauldron. Okay. Well, unfortunately for our opponent, I have more removal in hand. So hopefully I draw a land. I do draw a land. I think we do just kind of one for one though. And we don't worry about angering right now. All right. So now there, Ephemerate does nothing with it. Here, here's the problem. I'm sitting here at two cards. Our opponent is sitting there at seven cards going on eight with a Lion Sash and a Cauldron Complete. Avalanche Riders. Woof. Wow, we are getting dismembered. Dude had an Avalanche Riders. Don't get me wrong. I'm so jealous, but at the same time. Wow, we got stone rained by a taxes deck. That's so brutal. All right, we'll give it another couple turns, guys, but I feel like we got pretty dismantled by a deck that I would have thought we would have done quite well against. So we're going to have to further compromise Scred. I hate to say it. I don't know how many times we're going to compromise Scred. He's keeping the Avalanche Riders. Oh no, he must have an Ephemerate or something. So that's a little silly because now if I draw a land, and hopefully a red land and not one of my other three colorless lands. I got a problem, but Relic of Progenitus. You know what? I'll play this just for the funsies of it. Just sack trying to find a land here. But if he ephemerates his avalanche riders, I'm straight up scooping. And I find a lightning bolt and not a land. Yeah, I think poor Scred. I, I really dislike that we're going to have to further uh, Modern Horizon Afi Scred. Give it a fighting chance here. But we are up against nonsense taxes right now. And we got like, yeah, we won game one, but we got dismantled. So I think we're going to have to see what Modern Horizons we need to just spread on the top of it. Another Stoneforge Mystic. I'm happy for you, opponent. And his hand is just going to be all the good equipment. Sword of Fire and Ice. Ooh, Sword of Protection from our deck. He even gets to play Sword of Protection from our deck. We need to top deck a red source so bad. Please be a red source. Okay. Don't, guys, right now, don't get me wrong, we are not winning this game, but we are sure going to make them work for it. Now, I'd also like to point out our opponent has six lands, so if they just have a land and the six card in their hand, they just get to hard cast Cauldra? Yeah, we sat here, spent so much time trying to find a land. Elish Norn? <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> Oh my god, and it's a 6-9. Nice opponent, nice. All right, all right, we're done here. You get it, opponent. White flag. No chance, no chance. All right, join me in the in the area where we're going to try and tune this back to relevance. Let, let's see if we can fix this. All right. So that was brutal. Um, okay. My, my brain goes to seasoned pyromancer as just a logical way to try and give this a little bit of oomph, if you know what I mean. Because seasoned pyromancer would allow me to get some drawing going on. Uh, there is a world where we like take out the mind stones and put in bobbles and put in Darcy's, but then we're just then it goes from Scred to just Modern Horizons to Tribal. Like it goes from Scred and what is very recognizable as Scred to just generic Ragavan. And I don't know if we need to go that far. And clearly, this is going to be one of those videos where I tune the deck more than once. I don't think we're going to nail this on our first try. Um, is anger even good anymore? You know what? Let, let's first things first. Let's try and make our draws a little better. The question is. How many seasoned pyromancers do we want? So as much as I love Hazard, I think Hazard needs to go. Um, maybe we even give up on one Mind Stone. Relics are... The relics are actually pretty good in this meta right now. What else can get cut from main? Because I feel like we do need more than two, two um, seasoned pyromancers. All right, what if we go... We take out the, the Angers, which are playing as our Wraths, and instead we put in two Furies. So that it's going to give us a lot of five drops, but the Furies are also technically zero drops. And then we take out a Hazaret and two Mind Stones, and we put in three Season Pyromancers. Because the Mind Stones are being replaced with things that draw, and I think Hazaret is just, as much as I love Hazaret, I feel like it, it's not actually a Scred piece. So I think I can give up on Hazaret and not feel like I'm completely giving up on Scred. Whereas I think the Chandras, the Koths, 
and the blood moons, along with Scred and scrying sheets and the whole snow-covered land thing, is kind of part of Scred's identity. And I am trying to keep the Scred identity here. I want people to be able to look at the list and still understand I'm playing Scred in 2023 and not some weird Ragvan thing. Now, I am also a little concerned that we keep seeing so many Frostwalk Bastions. There's only two in the deck, but you wouldn't know that based on that first game. We saw so many. So I'm hoping we don't keep running into these Frostwalk Bastions. Otherwise, I guess we'll just put in some more snow-covered mountains because that's a little rough. So with that, the deck's going to look like... All right, so... The, you know, sometimes I forget to do my cutaway gags. That time was one of them. So now the deck looks like this. All right, um... Maybe that'll make it better, or maybe I've ruined it. Who knows? But let's see if giving ourselves a little bit more card draw, where it's not us giving up something for card draw, it's us getting something for card draw. Let's try that, right? Um, Would you look at that? We lost a die roll. That's so weird. That never happens here. All right, we have a handful of removal and ragavans. That seems amazing. I'll keep this. It's the best thing our opponent could play. <laughs> Stomping Grounds is arguably in that list, especially a tapped one. Although that probably means our first Ragavan just gets murder murdered. All right, here comes our Ragavan. Please don't have a play opponent. So what are they doing next? This could be Elementals with Stomping Ground. Um, I mean, I could make a joke and say it's Dredge, but I guarantee you it's not Dredge. And if it is Dredge, I have a Relic in my hand. Blood Crypt could just be Jund. Could just be Jund, in which case Ragavan is gonna get Unholy Heated when I go to the attack. I have so many Ragavans though. Look at me and all my Ragavans, guys. All right, how does Ragavan eat it? Yep, good old Bolt. All right, unfortunately for you, I have another one. We're going to not play Relic only because if they play another land, then Bolt my Ragavan. Bitter Reunion. So this is like a, um, oh, is this a combo, Yuri? This is like a combo deck with Bitter Reunion where they put a whole bunch of stuff out and then they Bitter Reunion give everything haste. So first thing we'll do is just swing with Ragavan, see if it lives. I mean, if not, we got one more. Nope, seems like another card in their hand is yet another removal spell. Just the state of modern these days. Yep, another lightning bolt. Well, opponent, I got news. So cast Ragavan again. Cast Relic. Start eating their graveyard. Now if they try and do anything funny with the graveyard, we have Relic. I think this is just a combo deck, though, where they vomit a whole bunch of stuff and then they sacrifice Bitter Reunion and give everything haste. All right, do you have a third lightning bolt to go with my third Ragavan opponent? Doesn't seem like it. We certainly have lands. All right, Mon Ragavan. Prove you're doing something in this deck. Oh no. They go straight for the crack. Dwarven Mine. Oh, we can just scred that. All right, uh, I'll bolt that. Our scred does technically a little more damage right now, so that's probably fine. Cycle the Proving Ground, sure. Well, we get to steal something off the top of our opponent's deck. Persist. Okay, good. I'm glad we know about that. So they are just trying to reanimate stuff, but we do have a relic, so that's good. Fable of the Mirror Breaker, that's fine. We'll just bolt our scred that. Valakut's scary. Valakut's very scary. Well, we'll continue to try and just outvalue our opponent. Cough the hammer. We'll play Cough. We'll tick up our mountain before playing a new one that we can accidentally choose. Play out the one that we can choose. Relic our opponent. And we swing in with our guys. So now the Scred is Scredding stuff. And we find our own Fable of the Mirror Breaker. I say we even cast that. Actually, wait. Oh no, it says under our control. So if we do steal it, we do get to do it. All right. So now we even have our little dude. Hello, little guy. Uh, and I would like to remind you, opponent, we wouldn't have a Fable of the Mirror Breaker if you didn't put it in your deck. So we'll get to draw one, and then if we don't like it, we'll get to loot it away with our stolen Fable. They are going to be able to start just launching Valica triggers at us, though. Persist. Oh, we tapped out. We're so silly. We tapped out. So now they can kill Koth, or they can just wipe our creatures. Both are fine, truth be told. Uh, two, two, one. Interesting. Oh, does that mean they're going to play a land and just hammer our... Oh, ha, 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 ha. Okay, so we did that one to ourselves. So that was straight up misplaying on our end because we allowed our relic to um not be playable. Another bitter reunion. Okay, so now we really do have to do something about this fury, but hopefully we draw something of note like a... Glorybringer would be great, or our own Fury would be good. A Relic. So I am just going to discard this Relic. <laughs> we drew a land. All right. Well, we have to try and find something here. Another land! <sighs> we are... We, we we die. Although, again, I can't be too upset about that, because that, that was at least an error on my part, not just the deck not doing well. So now they get to Fury every turn with Fable of the Mirror Breaker. I mean, oof, we are we are getting just taken to town. We really need to find our own Fury. We need to find our own Fury something fierce. We are going to get our own Reflections of Kiki Jiki, but I don't, I don't think we come back from this if we draw a land. <laughs> uh, 
I, I think we lose this one, guys. I, again, this one was 100% my fault, so I can't be too upset, but now he just has reflections of Kiki Jiki to just machine gun down anything we play. Because he just gets to Fury at instant speed. So we were doing okay until we forgot what we were doing and then we lost our entire board, but we do get to go to game two, essentially. There's our other Fury. Interesting that they did that now. I guess they just want to deal a million damage. We still are actually okay adjacent if we... Another Fable, my word. So our opponent is also showing off that Fable of the Mirror Breaker is a great card and you should be playing it. Um, boy... Boy, howdy, am I uh, being shown the limits of my budget in this game. A single Chandra Torch of Defiance. No, nope, that ain't gonna do it, because half seven, I spend one, two, three, four. No, nah, that's not gonna do it. All right, well, Brian, maybe if you don't punt yourself into the ocean this time, you'll be able to kind of do stuff. We can Dragon Claw, I guess. We'd put him in the deck. Nine stones, no thank you. Blood Moons are absolutely pointless. Anything else we want to, I guess we can bring in another, oh, our single Anger now. It's our only only anger. Um, hmm. Hmm, <laughs> hmm, hmm. Chandra Awakened Inferno and keep a Mind Stone. Try that. Good work. All right, we even get to go first, so... Huh. Not really what we're looking for. Let's try and find a slightly better opening hand. Okay. Keep give up on a Chandra. If we can find a, uh, another land, the Seasoned Pyro can kind of go off a bit. These main deck relics are proving to be good. I'm just proving to be bad at playing them. <laughs> Frostwalk Bastion. Okay. So, we'll play out the dragon claw if our opponent manages to persist combo turn two by like griefing themselves or something we've learned something and i should feel bad but i think we we do get a turn please tell me they're gonna grief please tell me in fact please tell me they're gonna grief and then do like a malachar rebirth and then i get to feel amazing about my life all right no they just play a valakut i a scred well i believe what we're gonna do is play pyromancer and give up on both chandra and scred this card some cards make some guys. All right, so now we have four power in the field and we also have a lightning bolt in hand. So should feel relatively okay at the moment. Fable of the Mirror Breaker, we get to draw a card. What do we draw? We draw a Pyrite Spell Bomb, which seems to me like something worth doing. We get to keep our lightning bolt up this way, swing it. Now, if they do just play a Fury, we lose our whole board, but I think we're okay at the moment. Seasoned Pyromancer is a very furiable target though. <laughs> we get to pitch some things in the bin. Ren and Six and a lightning bolt, okay. Dryad of Ilsen Grove. That is unfortunate. I mean, we will just swing into it and see if, um, oh, oh, I thought we would have gotten Dome, but I guess it starts on six. So there's that. So we'll, uh, relic our opponent. If we find another removal spell, that's great. Otherwise, we just have to bait it out. No covered mountain. All right, so bait it is. All right, here comes our guys. I mean, we're just trying to move fast. I really hope they do block, but I don't think they're that silly. Because while dealing our opponent six and putting them to seven is not nothing, I also think we do just die to our opponent, essentially having the ability to go off hard at point, especially with Fable. Hmm. Okay, so they're gonna do some blocking. Seems like, oh, fasc fascinating. They're gonna try and kill off, uh, yeah, leave it like that. Still just bolt the Dryad and just give up on the Frostwalk Bastion. And that's totally fine. All right, we just continue to slowly relic our opponent here with our seasoned Pyromancer kind of being MVP at the moment. Now, if we top deck a Fury, that's a little sad, but hopefully we're fine. They find a Fury. That's not good. That's not good at all. So as previously mentioned, we lose our whole board and they have the reflections up. That is killer. So Fury proving that Modern Horizons 2 is better than Modern Horizons 1. Who'd have guessed? Uh, yeah, huh. All right, something good. Dragon Claw. <laughs> Not good at all. Uh, actually, I guess we do just scrying sheets. It is a mountain. <laughs> It's a mountain that we get to play. All right, uh, we'll just keep this as is. I mean, they're gonna deal us a million damage with the the Fury uh, reflection combo. Next turn, we do get to season Pyromancer, but they have Furies, so I guess we have to wait until they're attacking, and then we can pop season Pyromancer and save ourselves some life. But they're gonna deal us twelve damage this turn. So there goes half our life. Oh, or they're just gonna do it the one. Ah, oh, I, I guess they kind of see it happening. What are they? What are they doing? Another Fable. Cool. We gain another life. Finding another season Pyromancer also be good. Don't think we 
crack relic right now. Might live to regret that. So we'll play another dragon. No, actually, screw it. Oh no, Brian forgot he needed five mana for for uh, old mate. But hey, we'll take a million damage this turn. Oh, he's doing it on end step. That is. So he gets to have a whole bunch and we just die. So again, Brian somehow with his memory of a goldfish between saying we need to block with season pyromancer tokens and now forgot he needed to do that and now we're going to take eat no we're gonna take we're gonna take lethal oh we're just gonna play a prime time that's fascinating so maybe it's just because this, essentially this is a new deck uh yeah no i think he just has us and i'm gonna save myself editing time sag 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 Maybe we put something with a little bit more oomph in the side than a dragon claw. Okay, that didn't work. Um, Again, I feel like I misplayed that a bit. I also don't feel like we were anywhere close to winning, if I'm being honest. So, dragon claws really aren't doing anything. We even played them and they like didn't help at all in the slightest. So maybe just more removal. Because like we have one, two, three, four, five. We have a million types. So maybe just unholy heats in the sides is good. So take the dragon claws out because they're clearly doing us no favors. Put some unholy heats in the side. Put another anger back. I don't think we need this much artifact hate, so take that out. Um, one more of these in. All right, I, I realize it's a very minor change, but let's let's keep going until we get a win. This might be a very long video. <laughs> All right, we even want a die roll. How lucky are we? Uh, unkeepable hand, though. We have so many mountains in this deck, and we see how many colorless lands? Like, how is this possible? It, it is honestly mind-boggling that we see so many. I guess give up on Chandra. Like, there are four. That's it. And, and you've seen me also kind of do this to myself when I was playing Taxes, and I had to put, to like, keep me sane, four different canopy lands in to prove that the game wasn't just giving me the same land over and over again. <laughs> And we're playing against a, a hand disruption deck. So there goes Blood Moon. That's not good. Off the hammer. That is much worse than Blood Moon. So we're playing against a deck that doesn't want to see Blood Moon. The problem is now we don't have a Blood Moon. Not that we even had lands to cast it. Tarmogoyf can't kill you. What do we draw? Another bolt. So I'm so sad. I'm going to get rid of Koth. I can't believe we're now getting absolutely mana screwed, but let's try and keep up a bit. There goes Fury. Okay, so they're going to make a token do actually if they spend their entire tune making a token they know we have a lightning bolt so that might ch get them to change their idea stomping ground sure oh no they are just gonna take a whole turn doing that well we don't have anything actually so deck if you want to give us a land that'd be great all right so now we don't want any more lands Go ahead and ship the turn we're already empty-handed by the way between awful 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 opening hands bye between just truly awful opening hands and just my play style in general, we find ourselves empty handed again. We do have cards in this deck now to try and help us refill our hands. And also like once you do land a Chandra, it does allow you to get like pseudo card advantage. But boy, I write spell bomb. Sure. So against Saga Jund, it's, I mean, it's an old an old list, but I bet you it works out for him. Inquisition. Well, you know what? How to you? And now they get to play their Tarmogoyf, which is going to be just massive. It's going to be a thick Tarmogoyf. Yep. Five six brutal so we don't have anything that can kill that now and a nile spell bomb it must be my birthday and we draw land guys i don't i don't think this week's gonna go too well yep that's not what's gonna save us hey 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 you still watching this video i got i got some news i don't know if i can make this work i don't i don't know if this is gonna happen um <laughs> I think Scred's really bad. I think Scred's really bad and we should feel bad. Oh no. All right, well, we get to look at the top card. Well, at least we got it off the top of our deck, but again, we're just gonna start getting the tar beat out of us. Yep, they make a construct that's fine by me. And then, please, please give me priority again. I blow up their construct before they can get another artifact on the field. I would like to have three turns if I could. What would be great is finding like a fury because a fury could like trade block. I know they have a haywire might, so we're never, oh no, and they have a rag of there. And oh no, no, no. Oh, we are getting dismantled. Oh boy. Yep. Nope. Nope. No. Nope. Please steal something good off the top of my deck so I can scoop in, in anger. No covered mountain. You know what? Take this no covered mountain opponent. By the way, there's no way we come back from this. Look at this board state. I think, oh man, last time I played Scred, we even managed to steal a win or two. 
I don't, I don't think that's the case anymore, guys. I think modern is just, oh boy, Ren in six. Oh, you don't say I'm leaving. You can't, you can't make me stay any, stay here anymore, opponent. You just can't, you can't make me stay. Oh boy. All right. Chattering spree because it's Jun saga. Um, what's bad? Okay. Goodbye. Mindstone. I'm sorry. Just, oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. What's bad is the question. Sorry, Koth. I really am. I'm even sorry, glory bringers, but we, we gotta, we gotta try here. All right. Come on. Just mid range red. All right. What could you possibly be thinking about? Okay. Um, let's try it. I mean, they have so much hand disruption. I don't want to mull too much. So we'll just pass. I mean, turn one hand disruption. There goes Chandra and there goes our kind of like mid game. Please don't be thought seized. It's Inquisition. So there goes probably lightning bolt oh they got rid of scred okay i mean scred doesn't do anything for a while <laughs> stop drawing lands deck there is nothing we need this many lands for not anymore another hand disruption spell come on you know you can do it you know you can do it you know you wanna thought sees there is goes chandra and now we have a hand full of lands deck i hate you so much please top deck blood moon if there's any justice in the world it's a scred there's no justice ever the world is a cold, uncaring place, <laughs> and there is no joy in Mudville. Uh, oh, man. Guys, I'm trying real hard. I am trying so hard, but this is just going to turn into a Modern Horizons 2 pile. Oh, man. Come on, deck. Relic of Progenitus. Oh, all right. Pass for now. I can make the Urza Saga token. I feel like we just have to kill it. Yep, there's your token. As you were probably imagining, here is your lightning bolt. So what is he doing now? Pithing needle on Relic of Progenitus, I have to assume. That is so fun. I am having a good time. Please play Ren and Six. Oh, just a goy. Actually, a couple turns, if we just keep drawing lands, we might be able to do something about that. I mean, it would, it would certainly give us a silver lining to... Man, you showed up so late to work here's blood moon i mean it cuts them off of z literally zero colors because it showed up so late and they even got to urza saga and get the relic and now they just get to beat us to death if we do top deck another land though we do just get to scred their tarmogoyf but like they have five cards in hand we have almost none putting jingoth at hand well they're playing the long game at least we get to do that we'll pass the turn we'll see what's going to happen here if they just play jingotha that's unfortunate but yeah you know what i don't even want to take that damage so we sure tried to play scred here comes jingotha Ooh, good i'm so happy here's an unholy heat that's not turned on yet oh man i think it's amazing though our two land types are just <laughs> Instant and Planeswalker. All right, we get Dome for five anyway. Our opponent has all the colors of the rainbow. The cycle of Proving Ground. Good for you, opponent. I'm so happy. Look at me. Look how happy this face is. Ra uh, you know what? Please don't have removal. Come on, man. You gotta you gotta let me pretend like I'm gonna do something here. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> <A> terminate. <laughs> oh, man, we are so dead. Okay, so what do we change next? How do we, how do we make this not as... I, I guess we can put in Fetch. Oh, and they get to just, I'm, I'm, I'm leaving. I'm leaving and you can't make me stay opponent. Okay, back to the drawing board. Okay, next we are going to put in fetches, not because this deck needs more than one color, but at this point we always kind of end with a, with like dead land draws. So maybe if we just thin the deck a bit. So take out four of these here mountains, put in four of these here tarns, take out these scrying sheets because they're not going to work anymore. And we take out two more mountains. All right. So now we have eight fetches, 13 fetchable lands, Frostwalk Bastions. This does make the Screds not as good under a Blood Moon. That's probably why they didn't play them back in the day. But this, this deck is going to look less and less like Scred the further and further we go. Just because... I, I, I don't know how much else we can we can do to this deck before it actually starts winning. You know, I'm leaving the Screds for now. We'll see how bad that is. Because, like, honestly, the the fetches when they're under a Blood Moon aren't as good as the Snow-Covered Mountain. That's literally the only time. Otherwise, they are just Snow-Covered Mountains. Um, let's let's try it again. If not, we're, we're just going to come right back to this page and we're just going to keep sprinkling more modern staples on it until it works. Until this just becomes mid-range, joyless mid-range red. Think of that as a YouTube title, Joyless Midrange Red, brought to you by Modern Horizons and Ragavan. Let's go again. All right, we want a die roll. 
Come on. Ah. Oh, man. This doesn't even look like Scred anymore, does it, guys? <laughs> Joyless mid-range red, my enemy. <laughs> look what you've made me do. All right. Here comes Scalding Tarn. Well, at least we look like a better deck now. Like, we must look like a real deck to our opponent. Uh, and the next turn, we'll play Bloodstained Mire into Blood Moon if our opponent lets us get that far. Now, I have a feeling Ragavan's going to die because that's just how modern works. <laughs> Hello, Fury. How are you today? Okay, this video ends when we win a match. I don't care how I have to do it, and I don't care how many play points I have to just pitch into the abyss, but we are going to do it, and I am going to regret saying that. I get a mountain on Ragavan. Let's go. Bloodstained Mire. So we took one of his lands. Um, next turn, we definitely get to do stuff. Okay, what's your What's your next play, opponent? Swamp. Dothy Voidwalker. Fascinating. Well, that can't block Ragavan. I think this is just scam we're up against. Just regular old run-of-the-mill scam. So the good news here is we do get to Blood Moon them. The bad news is the Voidwalker's already in play. <laughs> so just Ashavan again. We also have to watch which we pitch with Season Pyromancer now because Voidwalker is just good. All right, here comes Ragavan. Man. Find something good. Find something good. Swamp. Well, let's just play the Blood Moon. Okay, so now we've taken two lands out of our deck. Uh, no, in fact, we've even taken three lands out of our deck. So now hopefully we're less likely to draw the stupid things. All right, they just got to come crashing with Voidwalker. That's fine. Because what, what we can do is we can just play Ragavan, play Season Pyromancer, give them nothing. Ooh, the Evoked Grief is bad because now they just get to... Oh, are they going to double it? They're they're stacking it like they're going to double it. That would really take us down. All right, so there goes their Season Pyromancer. And for their next... Oh, no, okay. So we do get to Ragavan again, which is fine. Please be a Planeswalker. Another Blood Moon. Well, we'll keep that in our hand in case we find another Season Pyro. In fact, it might even be our opponent's Season Pyro. Or this might get um, Lightning Bolt. We are getting to the point, though, where we can just hard cast Fury, which would be a good swing in our direction as well. K Command. Yeah, that's happening. So we are going to deal two damage. I think we're just going to make a, him discard a card. So discard a card, deal two damage. They discarded their own Season Pyromancer. But at least we pretty much got to blow them out. And now we are just playing the Ragavan game. <laughs> Go Ragavan! What does our opponent do? Oh, okay. So blo we Blood Mooned him out. So against Scam. Oh, that doesn't count. I don't think. One game dude running away doesn't count. Let's let's go for another one and see if uh, that was a fluke or not. All right, we won the die roll. Um, no, I think that's too slow for Modern. I think this is great for Modern. Uh, put the land we're going to fetch back on the bottom. All right, crack that. Snow-covered mountain. Play our Ragavan. Please don't die. Turn one Ragavan. Not that we have the Blood Moon, but it's always good just to start demoralizing your opponent now. Oh, oh Ignoble Hierarch. Okay, well, that's going to get scredded out the way. Another Ragavan. Well, that's fun. First things first. Out of my way. Second thing. May I steal your Tarmogoyf opponent? Nope. We may not. But if we draw a land next turn and our opponent doesn't have something to stop the Ragavan, we can. Wall of Roots is interesting. Okay, so this is Yogg. Interesting, interesting. Um, I think they block and I think we just bolt their wall and stop their ramp. Otherwise, we just get to Fury. All right, that's fine. We continue to make them play fair. All right, I mean... Technically, we didn't miss a land drop because we still have the treasure token from last time, but I'd imagine an actual meta deck, which Yogg is, just Riss. Oh boy. All right. Please be a land so we get to kill Gris with Fury and not have to evoke it. That'd be just peachy if we could. Of course not. Well, fortunately, this is the land we, we live in. <laughs> One to that, and three to that. That goes away very unfortunately. We kill their Gris. Goodbye, Gris. It was nice having you around and all that, but I would very much like you to go away. Poor Mindstone. You used to be here to get our Planeswalkers out quickly, but apparently we never get to draw those when we actually need them. Another Wall of Roots? That's kind of annoying. Especially since we're empty-handed again. How does this keep happening? And they have another Gris? No! No! Word of calling. All right, so... We are going to hope we draw a Fury. Hey, okay. I'm glad I didn't get rid of my Mind Stone. So we'll just kill Gris. Because then after that, the Fury can attack pretty good. 
Now, truth be told, if that was a glory bringer, in that instance, that probably would have been better because we also would have killed their wall of roots. But oh, are they just drawing? That's a good sign for us. They're just they're digging for an answer because we have just modern horizons on the field. This does not look like Scred anymore. And I mean, it makes me sad, but it's it's the world we live in. Accord, strangle root guys, sure. Our opponent realizing, ooh, the damage there. Ugh, brutal. Um, and we don't even want to draw Fury anymore because we don't have enough mana. Scred. Let's see what happens here. So I attack with Fury because Ragavan just gets blocked by an insect token. If they just take six, they take six. Okay, so they block with Strangle Root, guys, because it comes back. We could just scred the Hepatra when it attacks, unless they play. They should, if they go directly to combat, that's correct. Because if they have Yogg, they just get to do a lot of fun stuff. Eldrix Evolution. Okay, so this is Eldrixing for Yogg. So goodbye, Strangle Root, guys. All right, knew it. So they sacrifice the insect token, they kill, yeah. Snake token, not good. Worse is Hepatra. Oh man, they're just gonna... Oh, I didn't realize this just took out all creatures. That's brutal. And he gets to draw cards each time he does it. That, oof, that is, that is unfortunate. I mean, we're not totally dead, but our opponent did just draw a million cards. And now they have a strangle order, guys, so they get to do this as much as they want. All right, I, I see you there, opponent. They just, how many cards do they want to draw? Clearly more than that. So what? A perfect world is we draw Season Pyromancer play season pyromancer draw two lightning bolts we're not we're not going to crack mind stones so we'll let him do whatever he wants here but yeah Arboreal Grazer, sure. We have um, Graveyard Hate in the main, too. It's just we drew Mindstone and not Relic. Although this is one of the games you, you wish you still had Anger of the Gods because it would have taken everything out except for Yogg. Although Yogg is kind of their most important card, if we're being completely honest. Yeah, Yogg is uh, a real deck and we are not a real boy. Although technically we did beat Scam. We are, we are officially free of our prison because we did technically win when our opponent played one game and they're like, nah, I'd rather, I'd rather do anything else than... Uh, uh, then play against Blood Moon again. No, I think it. I think at this point we don't show them Blood Moon and we just run away. All right, so tactical retreat. We do have anger, which is good. Uh, Mind Stone. I'm so sorry. I really am, but I don't. I don't think so. I think Chandra Awakens Inferno is too. In fact, I think this deck is just too slow. <laughs> I really think it is. Um. Yeah. Let's try that. All right. Um. Too slow, I reckon. Best we're gonna get. Best we are going to get. Keep, get rid of snow-covered mountain. Let's get these snow-covered son of our life. All right, here's Relic. Technically, though, he didn't really use the bin all that much. We do get to pitch our worst cards, though, which are looking like they're just gonna be lands. Boreal, oh, ignorable hierarch. Boy, I, I hope I draw removal of that. Cough the hammer. All right, so we're going too slow now. Oh, man, we're gonna... We're probably going to lose this match, guys. And then we're going to do one game where I just give in to the good. I'm glad it's Gris. Uh, we just give in to just, just the dark side. Good thing Gris can destroy Planeswalkers. That seems like a needed addition to that card. So Koth is now getting pitched directly into the bin because for the low price of an insect token, Gris, a Modern Horizons card, completely invalidates it. All right, so Koth, or Season Pyromancer, give up on a snow-covered mountain and Koth, keep Ragavan just in case. Chandra, I feel so bad for Chandra too. Um, because again, just for the low price of one creature, they get to take out Chandra. So Chandra is essentially a four mana deal four to target creature. Yep, another insect token. Not much like really, it's fury or bust again. Probably strang yeah, strangle root geist. All right, here comes yep, strangle root geist. That's fine. I was gonna take it. You know, again, we did technically win a game, but at what cost? <laughs> At this point, they just get to do whatever they want. We have very little to say. Although, if we draw anger, that would be hilarious. Cough the hammer does diddly if I'm being honest. <sighs> I mean, it, I guess we kind of have to play Koth out. I mean, I don't want to Chandra anything. There's no, there's nothing good to Chandra, but he is just going to kill one of his insect tokens. Well, at least we can make him sacrifice like the majority of his stuff <laughs> or the insect token specifically. Oh, the dying, the dying wolf. If he plays Yogmoth, we're scooping and I am, I am Frankenstein monstering this deck. Essence Warden, you do you. Court of Calling. Can Court of Calling get any creature? Does it have to be green? I feel like it's any creature. Yeah, no, it's any creature, so here comes Yogmoth. All right, I'm I'm sorry, Scred, but I don't I don't think you're gonna make it, buddy. I, I, I just don't, I don't. I think we're gonna go under the knife one more time. I'm I'm even just going to pause so that you guys see the the glow up, the post transformation of whatever I'm doing to this poor Scred deck. 
but I don't I don't think Scred survives anymore, guys. I think I think it's going to I don't know if it's gonna survive this next surgery, but let's try one once more into the breach. Wish me luck. I'll see you when the deck's fixed. I'm I'm so disappointed in myself. Um so, to answer the question, how do we make Scred good in 2023, is you abandon Scred like the coward that you are. So, here's what's left, guys. Here's me just tearing my hair out, trying to find a way to make this work. So, outside of the blood moons and the lightning bolts, nothing is here from the original deck. Yeah, there's snow-covered mountains. They don't have to be snow-covered anymore. Anymore. They could just be mountains. There's no snow synergies anymore. Um, okay. Generic Ragavan mid range. Let's see if we can win with this. I'm so sad. We didn't win the die roll, but I don't I don't think we deserve to. <laughs> I really don't. Um, sure, keep. We even take the relics out and make them soul guides. Uh, okay, so it's some kind of titan deck, it looks like. That, that'll make it interesting. Not super interesting. Um, in fact, we're even gonna play Ragavan if we can just happen to cast Blood Moon turn two. I'm hoping it stumbles our opponent a bit. They did get the Utopia Sprawl just on a, uh, <laughs> come on, guys. Yeah, we have to do this every game. Or Ragavan. And we got doused by Liliana, too. That's that's the true unfortunate part. The good news is we get to kill Liliana. So we'll cast Dragon Rage Channeler. We'll go get another mountain. Unholy Heat. See, this is another thing that Scrid couldn't do. Unholy Heat can hit Planeswalkers for some reason. Blood Moon. No, we don't need two of this. Although if they have a Besaidu, a second Blood Moon might not have been the worst idea. But now we have Delirium. So we're doing aggro. Let's see what our opponent's up to. They're green, so they can go green, green, and that'll turn red. But let's see what their play is. Hopefully they just, oh, well, actually if they tap out, they can still just besage you at any time, which I can't be too upset about because at this point it could have just been a disenchant, which also would have gotten blood moon. Radle. Look, a triome. Killing dragon rage channeler. Is it another lily? Three, three green mana. That's interesting. What's three green mana? What's three green mana where you didn't want to tap Yavamaya? I want it's tapping and retapping a thousand ways here. I'm not entirely sure what they're up to. Uh, Ren the Realm Breaker. Hey, so they can hit me for three or I mean, I'm just going to kill Ren, I think. Inquisition. Well, there goes Blood Moon or maybe there goes Unholy Heat. Who knows? Oh, an Unholy Heat. OK, so another Blood Moon. Glad we have so many of those. Well, goodbye. It's a surveil again. Shadow Spear actually seems useful. Uh, Lay a Relic. Shadow Spear on top. I don't think Blood Mooning is, is necessarily going to work against our opponent's deck that's playing like these rainbow nonsense. But Shadow Spear comes down next turn, then the next turn we put it on Dragon Rage Channel, or maybe gaining some life is good. I also just realized I put Urza Sagas in a deck that play Blood Moon. I am, I am just beginning to realize I did that. But, <laughs> oh boy, am I... Am I a silly, silly person? I mean, maybe, maybe they're just so good you can non-bow yourself, guys. Have you ever thought of that? Have you ever thought of non-bowing yourself? Because maybe it's just that good. Well, here comes this four drop that he was thinking about playing last time. Karn the Great Creator. Sure thing, boss. Ticks Karn up. Shadow Spear, we knew that was coming. Pithing Needle, A again, that's actually really good right now. So I'll just attack Karn. Clearly they wanna get something from their sideboard. I'm gonna try and stop them from doing that. I mean, they might just tick Karn down to one, but then we get to Pithing Needle it next turn. And it's just playing Golgari Super Friends. Another Ren. Okay, so they are tutoring something. Are they tutoring? Heart of Kirin. Fascinating. So this is just a super friends deck. Hey, so we're just going to kill Arn, I reckon. And then we could just Pithing Needle the Ren. Oh, but they have the Heart of Kirin now, which just stops our thing. Hmm. This is unfortunate. So Pithing Needle Ren. I love how the thing a lot of people disliked about, um, ugh. No, we're going to pick Ren. Ren and Realm Breaker. I mean, our Dragon Rage Channeler has to just get eaten by Heart of Kira now, but there's not much we could do about that. You know, these these are just things that happen. The lion, uh, we're just gonna go to the next. Again, we, we find ourselves like, yeah, we had some artifacts on the board, but we just had so much else go wrong. So I don't think our relic, in fact, our most of our artifacts don't do much. Um, The Blood Moons do seem like they might do something. Uh, what are we doing? You like maybe bring in the Shattering Sprees? <laughs> just a glory bringer because I, I don't know what else to bring in and and shrug try that all right uh sure 
I mean, this deck is just a pile of absolute nonsense at this point. So I don't even know what a good hand would look like anymore. I don't I don't know who I am anymore, guys. I am, I am just absolutely uh, in in La La Land at this point. All right, come on, Dragon Rage Channeler. I mean, we have more keepable hands, though, because with just the lower to the ground stuff of the Modern Horizon sets, you know, part of me did want to just Pithing Needle Verdant Catacombs, but I didn't because I figured that was the wrong move. But if they immediately have the mana doubling thing... Oh, boy. Okay, these are things that happen. Uh, we'll just uh, land. Oh, thanks. Um, I guess we'll choose Ren. Ren and Realm Breaker. I mean, I realize they still get to have the curse ability on Ren and Realm Breaker of the, the chromatic lantern effect. And again, it's really weird that people disliked the curse walkers of, you know, War of the Spark, and they just decided, no, War of the Spark forever. Liliana of the Veil. Of course it's Liliana. Why wouldn't it be Liliana? Okay, I'm having a great time, guys. I don't I don't know if you're having a great time. I'm having a great time. Scalding Tarn. Rack. Hit this. Shut down their mana a little bit. And then next turn, we can just start seasoning our, our pyro Dramatic effects for the bobble. Arbor Elf, great. I'm glad you're here. Dragon Rage Chandler. No, nope, I think the correct thing to do is to Pyro. We do get some tokens now, which is good, and a Fury, which will be good as well. So next turn, if we draw, a, if as long as we don't draw one of our artifacts, or if we draw an Ursa Saga at that point, um, everyone gets the point of me and laugh. But as long as we draw either a land or a red card next turn, our Fury might steal us this game. Oh. <laughs> They can always tick it up. All right, so much for that. We are just going to try and myrtleize them, but they could play something out that's actually kind of scary. So if we just, the only thing we don't want to draw is Urza Saga. Other than Urza Saga, any other draw is probably fine because we can even exile our Seasoned Pyromancer and get more tokens. Oh no, Karn the Great Creator, that's fine. What are you, are you going to go get Heart of Kirin? Go get something, probably Heart of Kirin. A Wire Might. Okay, A Wire Might is certainly not what you want to see because they can Arbor Elf the Forest. I guess they're debating if they want to do that because then they lose one of their planeswalkers unholy heat well have i got some bad news so clearly we take out on the great creator oh i didn't have delirium until just then <laughs> So this goes at Karn, this goes at Karn, this goes at Liliana. Ooh, they have to choose between their Arbor Elf or Liliana. Okay, they chose their Arbor Elf, but at least we got rid of Karn. They can Haywire Might taking out the Blood Moon, which is fine. Or they can also take out Pithing Needle if, they, if there's a Ren stuck in their hand. Yep, this is fine. Hmm, interesting that they choose to discard a card now. Hmm, curiouser and curiouser. Oh, here goes this. And I believe the term is bye-bye. There goes Lily. Now we just swing, I reckon. I mean, don't get me wrong. We're not exactly in a great spot, but in the land of 1-1s, one the 2-2 two -two is king. They do decide to get rid of the Blood Moon, but they only have one card in hand, so we are doing a little bit better. And our Scalding Tarn can go fetch a land. Now if we draw Urza Saga, it's great. <laughs> you know, now, now Urza Saga, our opponent would be looking at us like we're some sort of, you know, super, super smart guy. On Urza Saga, Mishra's Bobble. Not really what I'm looking for here. Not going to lie. You get to see what they're going to deal with unless they decide to crack. Osage you. Well, I'm glad they're probably going to fetch that away. Yep. Happy, happy they don't have that right now. Hmm. Fatal pushing the pyro. So now if we find one more land, we just get to keep making tokens. And the oft forgotten text of Season Pyromancer might help us stay in a little bit, but we'll see what what happens. We draw Fury. Please don't be Liliana. Arn. Okay. Well, I have to imagine they tick that down. Yep, they tick it down. What are they gonna go get? Gear Hulk. Fascinating. All right. Please, please, please land, land, land. Blood Moon. Well, while we don't get to keep the Fury, we do get to do the Fury. So goodbye opponent stuff. And Fury really did just take all the bread and butter out of Anger of the God's Mouth. We do need one more land, though. We desperately need one more land to get our seasoned Pyromancers in the bin doing something. Quite honestly, doing anything. They just get to play an 8-8 Gear Hulk, which is a trampoly 8-8 Gear Hulk, too. That's that's neat. All right. Now we draw our land now that our elemental tokens are useless. Yep. I am a mighty wizard. Does this have to be sorcery? No, it doesn't. All right. I say we just let that thing attack us and we start trying to do it on our opponent's end step. We don't have to crack Bloodstained Mire for it to be a land right now. There's really nothing we have that kills an 8-8, though. Like, even our Furies don't do that. They, they do a lot, the Furies. Don't get me wrong. Oof, we're down to seven. Ren and the Realm Breaker doesn't do anything. <laughs> All right. I can't quick click my lands anymore. He's in Pyromancer. Blood Moon. Nope, I'm not going to make that mistake this time. Time, we just have to leave all of our guys on D because of the big 8 8. And unfortunately, we don't get to kill the Gear Hulk because we're only going to have six tokens and not eight. Yes, we just 
try and keep all of our lands. We can take two damage off this. Yeah, we're so dead. Let's just block everything. There's nothing we can top deck here. Although the seasoned pyromancers did prove that they are a good card. Yep, and we draw Scalding Tarn, and that's enough of that. All right, time to take those Urza Sagas out. Sad. All right, so maybe it wasn't the best idea to put Urza Saga in a deck that's also playing Blood Moon, uh, even though that Pithing Needle was surprisingly useful in the matchup we had. So let's take these Urza Sagas out. We're not playing any of this Scred stuff anymore. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <sighs> I don't know. Um, do we even have any more red fetches? Do, do more red fetches exist? Um, I guess Red Mesa? <laughs> so many fetches for so few mountains. <gasps> All right, um, Shadow Spear can also go away. Pithing Needle can also go away. What are we, what are we gonna do instead is the question. Like how, we have two cards we can put in. I put the Glory Bringers in the sideboard, by the way, just cause I don't even know what to put. I, I just want to win a match other than that one random scam match where the guy ran away screaming and call this a, a video. So like, what do we even put in at this point to this mid range red pile? What do we put? I don't have any Magus of the Moon. I, no, I don't have any Magus of the Moons. Don't feel like buying more stuff for this absolute painful deck. Like what? What is this deck? It wants Fable of the Mirror Maker, but we're also not doing that at this point. That is so many ticks. Or at this point, beyond the meme, as far as the decks go. Oh, what? I guess we even want to take the relics out. And we want to put in Soul Guide Lanterns. That doesn't blow up our graveyard anymore for the Dragon Rage channelers. Um... What else? What else? What else? What else? It's like, this is just not enough to win, apparently. And two cards of some sort have to go back. It's like, Chandra Torture Defines is a good card, but it doesn't do anything, does it? What does? All right, I'll ask my collection. So format modern, nothing in there. Color is red. Like, what's here that could, like, kind of work? Oh, you want to know what could... Do I have Reckless Impulse? Hmm. I do have Reckless Impulse. That might work. Let's put two Reckless Impulse. In. All right, I, I really hope we're getting close to winning a game here so I, I can be freed from my mono red prison. Let's let's give it a shot, guys. All right, we even won the die roll. Okay, sure. Okay, everyone who's looking at this hand saying out loud this has no... <laughs> Not a single card from Scred in it. I, I hear you. I hear you and you're right. Um, Put this in the bin. No reason to put Ragavan out just so it can die. Now we even have the Dragon Rage Channeler we could put out to kind of kind of eat whatever the first turn removal is of our opponent. And then next turn we have Ragavan. And then after that we have the Reckless Impulse to try and, you know, get up to hard casting Fury maybe. Windswept Teeth. All right. Be good. Okay, nothing. Nothing's good. I enjoy when my opponent does not nothing. Another Ragavan. Well, they kill this Ragavan. That means I have a backup. Right. Swing. Moon swing. Right. Got him. Risen Reef. So we're playing against Elementals, so we'll probably have to um, use our Fury just to take stuff out kind of individually, but at least we got the Risen Reef out of the way. And we are aggro enough, maybe, to take out the Omnath deck, because I think that's what we're seeing happening here. Oh, Roiling Vortex should be in the sideboard. That's what we're missing. I realize we have our own Fury, but you just take those out when you do. Because I imagine this Dragon Rage Channeler now just gets wrecked by a Solitude. All right, cast Dragavan again. It probably probably dies at this point because they can get all five land types and just uh yeah okay so they're gonna prismat and uh, no um ley lines binding the ragavan i think yeah they're definitely ley lines binding yep all right so there goes one ragavan so we are losing our our aggro quite swiftly at the moment all right no second ragavan hit which means no reckless impulse which we would have liked to do and now i feel our opponent has a million cards in hand and we missed a land drop so we also don't have much to try and trigger dragon Rage Channeler. And there's a world where this should have been a uh, light up the stage because then we would have been able to cast it last turn. Is it a Risen Reef? It's a Teferi. Okay, well that has to die. They bounce Dragon Rage Channeler. Because why wouldn't they? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. All right. At this point, we can't even Fury and keep it, but we're going to have to try and Fury, essentially. Wooded Foothills. Well, thanks for showing up late to work. 
<sighs> I do think I'm going to try and kill Teferi. So I'm going to dash a van. If they have a solitude, they have a solitude. There's nothing I can do about it. But I don't I don't think we can let them have this, the Teferi. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I suppose I should have seen that coming. We do still get to kill it, though, thanks to um, Yuri. Getting two back. That at least dies, which is nice. All right, we go to our second main. We spend a mana. Actually, I guess we could Fury first. Exile a Dragon Rage Channeler. Right, just Fury that thing off the board. If he has a second one, he has a second one. But he essentially has to keep uh, our way clear here. got to play this. I'm even going to play the Soul Guide Lantern and see if I can get many card types. But somehow our opponent still manages to have four cards in hand, which is just super cool and fun. A Lightning Bolt. Um, Lightning Bolt really going to do me any favors, especially when they cast Omnath next turn. No, I'm just going to put this. So I realize I'm just assuming they have Omnath, but I'm assuming they have Omnath because I, I I truly believe they have Omnath. I'm going to get rid of the Solitude that back somehow. Yep, all my Ragavans get removed because everyone's ready for Ragavan. And that's the thing, and that's probably why Ragavan's allowed to live in modern is everyone's just prepared for it now. I'd also like to mention this deep into the video. Before I started recording, I did do some test games with like the original Scred list, and I did win two. I, I won one. Oh, it's this thing now. And I just got rid of my Lightning Bolt. Um, I am a very silly person. So whenever a land is battled from your control, mana, if this is the second time it's resolved, reveal cards in time whatever, until you reveal an elemental card. So this is how they tutor stuff now. This card's like 30 bucks in paper, and I don't know how much it is online, but this is the new toy for elementals, is the Nissa that the minute you have a fetch land just tutors up essentially an elemental. I hope they find another Risen Reef. That's that's the only thing I can hope for. Yep, 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 yep. yep. All right, so they reveal cards off the top of their library until they reveal an elemental. Of course it's Solitude. Why wouldn't it be Solitude? And they just get to do that every turn, eh? That is so brutal. All right, we're gonna even leave Soul Guide Lantern there for now. Ooh, Bolt. Okay, well, you're gonna let me get a Dragon Rage Traveler trigger. I'll take it. Blood Moon. No, we're gonna leave that on top. I'm gonna leave that on top. I don't think Blood Moon actually slows down our opponent that much, if I'm being completely If you have a spell pierce, I swear. Okay, so we'll attack as is. We're not gonna cast Reckless Impulse because I don't want them to see the Blood Moon, all right? They just choose to take one. Let's see what their next move here is. Because if it's like Ren and Six, we have the Soul Guide Lantern. Otherwise, we get to draw off the Soul Guide Lantern, put the Blood Moon in our hand. Hopefully not get it countered is the big thing. But also like, it really doesn't slow our opponent down a ton. And we have no way of getting rid of that Ley Lines Binding. And of course they have a basic. So now they're gonna have all colors anyway. Uh, Yeah, let's just draw. Here's that Blood Moon. All right, so I am going to swing with Dragon Rage Channeler and hope they just Solitude. Yep, here comes Solitude. We knew about that. It does stick around, which is a little annoying. We have an answer for it, though, in Pyrite Spellbomb. Um, and now the door's just open to slam this. However, though, our opponent still does get to do everything. It doesn't actually change a whole lot, because, believe it or not, this four-colored deck does get to play quite a bit of basics, as seen by the, you know, three colors of basics that gives our opponent... Like, if they still have an Omnath, they can still cast it. Oh, okay. So, just swing it with Solitude. That's fine. We have, we have life to lose. I don't know how grindy we honestly are, though. Here comes Omnath. Or is it a ley lines? Oh no, this can just get any permanent, huh? Cosmic Rebirth. Use current on your graveyard in the battlefield. If oh, okay. So Teferi Bounce Blood Moon. That's just rude. Another new card that I didn't know existed. So it's just uh, Regrowth Gain 3. Please draw a land. If we draw a land, we can like maybe do something. What are you doing now? Ren and Six? Ren and Six. Brutal. <sighs> Brutal, like, seven different ways. I can't believe we're getting dismantled this many ways. Like, we've played many games now, and this deck is just refusing to win a match, which is impressive at this point. Fury, that'll solve some problems. So, I think we just Blood Moon, and I think we do the Fury. All right, so one, and then three, uh, no, just two. You know, if they have a blowout, they have a blowout. So two there, and one there. All right, cool. Fury's gone. Apparently they have Graveyard Recursion now. I did trade in my Soul Guide Land for card and not to exile the graveyard. I honestly didn't know that this was a card, the new Cosmic Rebirth thing that you're gonna let's put it into the battlefield if you don't. Oh, it's even just reanimate. Oh, you get to choose whether, why, why would it be forced one way or the other? Now you get to get around Graveyard Hate. Take that Graft Digger's Cage. Yeah, no, you can get a land, that's fine. You have another Teferi or another way to get your Teferi back. Is that what we're doing? We do have limited time to get rid of Renin Six though. Oh, okay, get rid of it now. It's fine. Everything's fine. The, the game that we lost 10 minutes ago, let's continue just to fight it out tooth and nail when your opponent has five cards and you have absolute bupkiss, Brian. Let's just let's just keep living this lie. <laughs> 
living this lie for entertainment value. How how long is this video going to be if I refuse to stop playing until we win a match? Although technically we went against that scam guy who ran away. It didn't feel like a win. All right. Please blow me out, opponent. It's another Teferi. Or is it finally Omnath? 4,000 years later. Prismatic ending. Why wouldn't they have it? All right, deck, not a land. Please, oh, okay. I mean, that's helpful. It's not helpful right now, and playing Drago against our opponent is not gonna help us, but at least now we can kill an Omnath on its draw trigger, which will be nice. Risen Reef, whatever. I'm not terribly worried about Risen Reef. What do you have on top of Risen Reef? What do you have, okay, just that, just that. Okay, cool. And draw, Soul Guide Lantern, all right. At this point, we take the Nissa. I don't want that thing coming. And we can decide at the end of our turn if we want to draw a card, or if we just want to uh, blow up their grave yard and stop their cosmic i don't know how many cosmic rebirths they play but i'm sure it's not a small number finally omnath time finally omnath okay so omnath comes down triggers go on the stack we kill omnath goodbye <sighs> actually the seasoned pyromancer would be an amazing draw this is even an instant that's amazing my god scope creep and you gain three life what kind of world do we live in oh well you know risk it we did just put those in please counter it right. eerie and seasoned pyromancer okay um that seems like a next turn thing because i get them until next turn yeah so next turn we get to season pyro which is nice feel like they have a cosmic rebirth in their hand just a solitude for no value whatever they're doing i'm sure I'm elish <laughs> nord all right that'll get me to concede oh man what is going on all right void mirror get in here um hmm. i can't believe i need the soul guide land that's the most amazing part i take stuff out i mean these blood moons I feel like they don't actually do anything anymore. Because by the time I play Blood Moon, and he has so many ways of removing the Blood Moons. Yeah, so I feel like the Blood Moons don't do anything anymore. So maybe that, that, and then bring in the Glory Bringers. Try and win like that. This is probably wrong, but at this point, this entire video is wrong. So party on. So sneaky change. Uh, took the Glory Bringers out and put the boils in. Try some boiling. All right, let's give this a shot. This isn't garbage hand. I hate you, deck. I hate you so much. Why? 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 On what planet? I have so so many lands in this deck. Why do we need to do this? No, mull. Keep. All right. So, Soul Guy and Lantern. Guess even Fuse Point. Do have a turn to Void Mirror. We'll use this Bobble to look at the top of our deck to see if we want to keep or not. Can't believe we had to mull five. That is. This deck hurts so much. It's not even like I don't play lands. It's just so painful. All right. We definitely don't want to draw that. So, off you go. Cool. Pass the turn. We get a land anyway. I love this deck. I clearly love this deck because it will never leave me. Right? They don't do nothing. I mean, maybe the Void Mirror just gets immediately prismatic ending, but we can't do nothing. We have to just keep swinging as hard as we can. Throw your Void Mirror opponent. <sighs> That should stop something. Yeah, see, that's why I took the Blood Moons out, because there's no there's no way this guy decides it's now time to fetch Triomes after seeing Blood Moon game one. Or lands. Well, at least we have a way to get rid of them now. All right, Season Pyro, give me a good hand. Okay, Chandra Awakened Inferno could be interesting. We also have Unholy Heat to stop whatever nonsense our opponent does, and they can't evoke anything in until they get rid of the Void Mirror. Now, they could very easily get rid of the Void Mirror, is thing. There's, they have 4,000 ways of doing it. They go getting their basics. Of course, it's Nyssa. Well, at least that thing dies. Oh, wait, no, it doesn't, because I don't have Delirium. Yuri, that is... That is fun. That is so funny that we don't have a way of killing. <laughs> Man, I hate everything. Come season Pyro. No way they block. No planet. Didn't think so. Oh, or I didn't think you'd do that, opponent. Okay, so we got rid of their card advantage. We also have nothing, and we have... We pitched so many lands into the bin, we'll never see land again. We have, two, we have a five drop we can't evoke, and a six drop we'll never have enough mana for. How am I doing? I'm doing great. Please don't be Omnath. Looks like Renin 6. Renin 6 is a little annoying when I can't Fury because of my own Void Mirror. Land would be nice. Ragavan, Ragavan works. Ragavan probably gets just eaten, I have to assume. Ooh, do they have a counter? Dress down, okay. This is really where I wish I didn't have the Void Mirror because I could just get the Fury into play. But our opponent is just going to have everything and you just have to be okay with it, you know? You're playing against a deck literally called Money Pile. You know, that's that's just how magic works. <laughs> All right, who's having fun? Clearly Brian's still having fun this late in the video. Man, I haven't had a video go this poorly in quite some time, I gotta admit. Like, I'm willing to bet at this point point some of the footage i shoot is gonna do that hilarious thing where i have to speed it up because now my opponent has five lands i only have three you know my my deck thinning has successfully stopped me from having you know too much to worry about land wise and i'm just not going to draw any because i already have i have five mana in the bin another oh well, at least we can dash this now without worrying about it oh, 
come on, have, have, you know what? If this, if Ragaman gets removed, I'm quitting and I'm going to the drawing board again and we're going to start speeding up matches until I eventually win one. Screw this game, man. Oh, I hate magic so much. All right, we want a die roll. I don't know how many matches you guys have seen between then and now, um, but let me tell you, there have been some matches that I might speed up because... Uh, this is painful. I mean, the deck isn't even Scred anymore. There's there's nothing to do with Scred. In fact, it's probably even wrong to be running these Blood Moons. But at this point, we're just trying to get a win somehow. And this is turning into a different deck, and I'm just not getting anything here. Now, that could be variants. That could be I'm an awful Magic player. It could be a lot of stuff. But even with some of my really meme decks, I had a little bit more success than this. So let's see how she does. But I've always said I was a below-average Magic the Gathering player to begin with. Please just be aggro v aggro. Okay, that's a goblin deck. So our Blood Moon does nothing. Uh, actually, I might cut him off a of black a bit, but next turn, we're just going to spell bomb our opponent. So play Mishra's Bobble, see what's going on. Uh, yeah, we'll get rid of that because we're trying to turn on Channeler. Definitely don't need more lands, thank you. Oh, that was a Soul Guide Lantern, not a, not a spell bomb. I am getting so upset that I'm just playing poorly is what's happening. All right, what do you got going on? Goblin War Chief. Well, that might come out next turn because I played poorly. Early. Oh, they won't trade. <laughs> you won't trade, opponent. You won't. Didn't think so. All right. Oh, boy. Draw a card. We draw a Wooded Foothills. More lands. Love it. Love everything about it. Legion Loyalist. Cool. Interesting. All right. Well, we'll draw a card. Another land. Oh, more lands. Oh, look at all these fetch lands I have now. Guys, look at all these lands I've drawn. Isn't that great? Don't we just love lands here? Magic the Landering. No more lands. Why? There's so many lands. Got rid of that guy. All right. We need to start running out of lands because I'm, I'm pulling them out of the deck. They're all in my hand. They're all in the field. They're all everywhere. I would like to be done with lands. Please and thank you. All right. My opponent is looking a little mana screwed and I would be very upset. We managed to lose a game where our opponent did nothing for multiple turns. Oh, good. We're, we're, we're going to lose. <laughs> what? What do we even do about this? Next turn, he's going to put two goblins from his hand on the field. Oh my god, he is! All right, pull another land out of the deck. <laughs> we got to find something. Right, soul Guide Lantern on removal on top of the deck. Oh, thank god. Okay, cool. Screw Proca. All right, um, we're just going to do this now. Draw a card. Bolt. Maybe we can find the missing card type. No more lands. <laughs> stop it, deck. Just stop it. No one wants any more lands. I can tell you that for free. All right, next turn, we get to at least do the season Pyromancer thing. But we know he has a war chief in his hand. Please be stuck on mana. Oh, okay. We're halfway there. Angers, get in. Um, Soul Guide Lanterns do nothing. I wonder if we even want to try and put a one mana thing in. Yeah, what else do we want? Um, I don't even know. So two angers in. We could put a chalice on one one out, which would be hilarious. It would be awful. It would be awful for us. 17 of our cards are one drops, but oh, maybe ratchet bombs, some ratchet bombing. Yeah, we'll put one ratchet bomb in. Let's try that. All right. This hand looks great. We'll keep. So our opponent obviously goes first. Whatever he plays, we might need to kill. I'm going to kill the mana dork, actually. I just feel like that's the right thing to do. Let's start getting lands out of our deck now because they're bad and they should feel bad. We'll just get rid of the mana dork. Hopefully that slows our opponent down. We have removal in fury if he starts playing like goblins that are scary, but hopefully we get to hit with Ragavan and then play Dragon Rage Channeler. And then we're just playing Modern Horizons Tribal. If he passes and plays nothing, that would actually be for the best. But that might just mean he kills Ragavan. You know, they also play Lightning Bolt. Goblin Bushwhacker. Just, just as a one drop. Okay. That's probably to stop Ragavan, I have to assume. Good thing we drew more lands. That's what we needed, guys. Lands? I think in this situation, you just play Drag uh, Dragon Rage Channeler and you just play Ragavan. And next turn, we might use um, Season Pyromancer just to get lands out of our hand. I reckon our opponent plays some amount of, yeah, goblins and then bushwhacks, I think is what's going to happen here. Um... Honestly, I think we do trade. Do we trade? No, we could just kill that with Fury next turn if we need to. Because then Fury will go in the bin, which will be nice. I'll light up the stage. Well, now we feel silly. Goblin Guide and a Warren Instigator. Does he have a land? No. Okay, good. Blood Moon's still in the deck. Wow, I am. Well, actually, that gives me something to pitch for Yuri. That. So I think the first thing we do is Fury. Exiling the Blood Moon. So two and two. These guys out the way. Mountain. Play our Season Pyromancer. Card our card. Draw two pieces of removal. That's great. Swing with our guys. Now we can even kill his goblin guide. This might get the concede and then you know what? Calling it a day. <laughs> 
<laughs> calling it a video. I don't know how many matches this has been, but this has been so brutal. Poor Goblin 8 Whack. I, I feel for you too. And I you wouldn't believe it, but but this was Scred. This was beautiful, and it was Scred, and now it's Modern Horizons Tribal, and I feel so dirty. Oh my god, we won the match. I'm free! I'm free! Guys, guys, we did it, but at what cost? <laughs> Oh no! The only thing left are the blood moons and the snow-covered mountains. Everything else is gone. Oh no! And it took us having to, like, it's 12 o'clock in the morning. It is 12.04 a.m. to finally win a match. That took so long. Again, I don't count the scam guy who ran away. But, oh my god. I mean, I get Scred not doing well in this day and age. We won a couple of games. We never won a match. But then we go in and we just make it Modern Horizons Tribal and it still was losing. So, we didn't start asking this question, but we ended up asking this question, which is, how much of original Scred can you play? Answer is almost none of it. Almost none of it. You saw me get mana screwed with 23 lands. You saw all, all of this nonsense, but we finally made it into the world's saddest, most generic, milk toastiest mid-range red deck. And it is so painful, but we got there. I don't know if I'll ever play this particular pile of cards ever again, because it just broke my heart over and over and over again. But this is what happens when you try and, and bring something back and try and brew it back into the meta. Like, I straight up had to abandon everything to get it to work so for those of you who made it this far congratulations this was a slog this is the final list dear god don't play it just just don't walk away <laughs> Just just let it be what it's going to be. I, I will catch you guys next time for whatever next thing pops into my head that I think is a good idea. But boy, did this one hurt on several levels. I am going to go lay down. It is so late. This has gone so wrong. If you have a list that might win a game more so than the nonsense that I've been doing here, save me and send it to heydummyplaythis at gmail.com. That's heydummyplaythis at gmail.com. I am going to go weep in the shower. Goodbye.